There's a path that leads back to my Adirondack home. Folk music echoes through a mountainous forest, thanks to a woman who saved traditional songs from disappearing. I learned such good songs from Marjorie Lansing Porter. Join Pete Seeger in his final interview, the Bacon Brothers and Peter and Paul as we celebrate these songs to keep, treasures of an Adirondack folk collector. Life in the lumber camps was, was pretty difficult. You went into the woods in the fall of the year. You stayed until the spring. You got up before dawn, went out, worked all day cutting down trees, skidding them to the banks of the streams. Then you came in in the evening, you had yourself a big supper, and then the men would sit around, and they would do things like sing songs, tell stories. They had to make their own party, their own entertainment. And you couldn't say, I pass. You had to contribute to the entertainment. We're losing a folk tradition, I think, in general. And uh, to, to find songs that tell stories about the history of a place like this, um, I think it's really important to keep those alive. And I feel really excited that I was asked to do one because I, I don't have as much of a connection with those old songs, and now I feel like I do. Friends, come and listen while I sing to you. It's all about the Pinewood Boys and how they're getting along. They're a jolly lot of fellows, so merry and so fine. I left my Adirondack home about a year ago. I met up with bad company, the kind you shouldn't know. I learned to drink and gamble, turned out to be a bum. I'm tired of roaming around, and I'm gonna be back home. There's a path that leads back to my Adirondack home. I'm going back tonight, and I never more will roam. I can see my mother there for her boy, she says a prayer. And she waits in her armchair in my Adirondack home. 